It's week six on ESPN. The Bills come into this game with a secondary that gets burned on a regular basis. Due to that, their pass defense is ranked as one of the worst teams down at number 29. They will be squaring off versus the Texans who come in with a plain bad passing attack. This may be an area that could make or break them today. We'll see how it unfolds with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe out in Houston. Welcome indoors to what should be a great game here at Reliance Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens along with Peter O'Keefe. Peter, who's going to stand out today? Well, Dan, we have an even matchup, although perhaps not the most exciting of matchups. Dom Capers has struggled getting his passing game up to snuff. He needs to establish some type of rhythm right out of the gates if they want to succeed. Over here, you have a player who is also trying to step it up a notch. Greg Williams fields a pretty weak passing offense at this point, Dan, but he knows how to get his team ready for a game, so anything could happen. We'll see how it works out, Peter. Let's go to the coin toss. What tails? They call tails. Tails it is. The, the Bills receive. choose to receive. Let's get started. Ready? Brown will kick it off to start the first half. It's away. Morris gets it deep. Bills comes in and makes the tackle on the return. First down, Bills. Time for the O to get to work. Let's check it out. First and ten. They line up in the eye. Henry will work inside the left tackle, a game of four. Peter, let's look at the Bills starting offense. First up, the offensive line. Ruben Brown keeps the quarterback healthy, and he and his line are ready to go. Up now are the receivers. Eric Moulds stands out as the best of the bunch. So far this season, he's averaged 92 yards on five catches a game. And lastly, the man who calls the plays and the guys who back him up. Drew Bledsoe provides a vital contribution to this group. Through the air this season, he's averaged 212 yards and just under two interceptions a game. Okay, back to the action. It's now second and six. Watch for the rush! Watch for the rush! They're going with two tight ends. Bledsoe drops back. Throws. Pass on the 10-year man out of Washington State. He connects with his receiver with ease, Dan. He sees his man and then airs it out for the completion. Yeah, they are in sync. They're able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. Well, they actually look like Backstreet Boys to me. I, I don't follow that. Ball on the 39. Goes outside, throws, <laughs> and he somehow finds a seam in all that and picks up some extra yards. First down. Through Bledsoe, throw a solid pass into single coverage there. Let's see it again. Right there. Yeah. That's a clean pass, left no opening for it to be picked off at all. Yes, sir. He threw a guided missile there. Emphasis on guided. <laughs> he knew exactly where that pass was going. Ball at the 45-yard line. Single back formation. Bledsoe, they die. Close. First down. He sends a telegram to his man for the completion. Take a look. There's the throw right to it. This passing oh. offense spends so much time in practice running plays and patterns that it's it's almost instinctive. Oh. Oh. 
Ball on the 33. Watch this. Right by the defender. Very good coverage, Peter. How hard is it to defend against a pass like that? Oh, it's really hard. He played it right. It was just too good of a throw. The Bills racked up their fourth. First down on this drive. They're moving the ball very well. They're going with a split backfield. Travis Henry made a tremendous run here. Just look at all the yards he's picking up. No one is going to stop him. And no one did stop him. Several people tried. That was a fantastic job finding the open lanes. They'll have four chances to put it in. First and goal. Travis Henry didn't want to be caught short, so look at this nifty move. Whoa, Whoa that is something, Peter, diving forward and getting the touchdown like that. If he's got any bruised ribs or anything at all, all he's got to do is look at the scoreboard, and those aches will melt right away. Hollis will line up for the point after. The extra point is good. The Bills put the first points on the board, 7-0. to zero. Hollis is back to kick it away. It's away. Black fields this one. Dan, they allowed the touchdown, and now it's their turn to answer right back. Let's see if they can do it. First and ten. These are our fans. Give them some cheer back. They have their tight oh, end to the left. Right, right. There it is, wide left. Great tackle by the third-year man out of Georgia Tech. Peter, let's go over the starting offensive players for the Texans. Let's begin with the offensive line. Tony Baselli powers up this line considerably, and that will give his quarterback more time. Next up, the receiving core. Jermaine Lewis adds a lot to this pack of receivers. So far this season, he's averaged 42 yards on four catches a game. Last but not least, we have these three gentlemen. David Carr sets the tempo in this group. Through the air this season, he's averaged 123 yards and a touchdown every other game. Back to the field now. Second and eight. They line up with three wide outs. Allen will run it. It'll be third down. Peter, let's look at the Bills starting defense. We'll start off with the D-line. Pat Williams has an intensity level that keeps him going all game long. Next up are the linebackers. London Fletcher is the man who brings the hurt here. And lastly, the secondary. Antoine Winfield flies around the field and gets in receivers' faces. Now back to the game. Get 
it's it's third and about seven. Eyes open, eyes open. Watch the pass. They're going with four wideouts. Barely gets it off. Pass is incomplete. David Carr didn't get that one off very well. Baker will punt it away after a three and out. There's the punt. 31. Young makes the tackle on the return. Drew Bledsoe put up the big numbers last drive. Let's see what he can add on right here. Ball at the 44-yard line. Bledsoe made back. Makes the stop. Got some nice yards there off the first down play. And that really opens things up a bit for this next one. Second and inches. It's second and short, baby. Park for the run. Oh, yeah, I know the okay. Henry with the carry. Takes this one up the gut for a size of the game and the first down. First down. Travis Henry was on fire on that run. <laughs> Talk about keeping it floored, man. A little muscle. Very impressive acceleration. Oh, yeah. Forget about the 40-yard dash time. I want to see his quarter mile time. It's the end of the first quarter. The Bills currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game. 7-0. Ball on the 36. Hold in motion. Second and 14. You gotta get a long way to go. Long way. Tight end is lined up on the right side. Bledsoe, no shotgun. Throws. Jay Remersma proves once again why you get the football to him. Take a look. A nice catch, but he's not the kind of player who settles for nice catches. No question, Peter. He plays every yard of turf like he owns, well, like he owns the deed on it. <laughs> Ball at the 18-yard line. On the gun, throws. Nice job by the third-year man out of Arizona. Drew Bledsoe throws a homing missile on this play. Check this out. Totally threads the needle. There are two defenders there, Peter, and there was definitely not a lot of room for error. Oh, absolutely. There was not a lot of room for, for anything. Let's see if they can put it in. First and goal. Henry with the ball. Room on the left side. Williams stops 
that play after only a couple of yards. Took this one left side of the line and gets a few. Second and goal. Stevens tackles him a couple of yards behind the line. Nice job on that second down play, plugging up the middle. Lost yardage on that one. It's third and goal. Bledsoe goes out. Throws. Takes the touchdown catch. Bledsoe nails his man in the end zone for the big score. Watch. Right by the defender. He zeroed in on his man early and obviously thought the single coverage was worth the risk. With an accurate arm like that, Dan, there wasn't any risk at all. Hollis lines up for the point after. It's away. He adds the extra point. The Bills make it a two-score game. They are now up 14 to 0. Hollis sets up and will kick it away. It's off. Lewis fields it in the end zone. First down. Well, they're down a bit, but they have plenty of time to work with. Okay, that being said, they would love to put some points on the board on this drive and keep it from getting away from them. It's first and ten. Let's go, guys. Get the fans on the field for with the carry up the middle. We've reached the two-minute warning. Second down. Eight yards to go. Ball on the 25. Go get Mason. Fourth the third along. Fourth it. Throw not. Throw not. Lewis goes in motion. Room on the right side. Three. That will bring up third and short. Third and one. It's only a few feet. You ain't going nowhere. They go with the I formation. Ball at the 37 yard line. The Texas with the ground game. A loss of two. Uh, they tried to get something going with a move to the outside, but the defense was on them like white on rice. 12 yards to go. It's now second and 12. You better get ready to see that again. Drops back, throws. The Texans take their first time out. It's now third and six. Push them back, defense. Push them back. Four. 
bring up fourth and long. Oh, man, I bet your kids felt that one out there. Eight, Eight yards, yards to go. Jason Bostic was all over that. Let's see that takedown again. Oh, great tackle, allowing no forward progress. Yeah, I think uh, I think they may have even lost a little ground on that one. I haven't seen a play shut down that fast since I played Puck in my college production of Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, I'm sure you did. Oh, man, those tight shape. Baker will punt this one away. here 31 gets the ball Graham makes the stop on the return that will do it for the first half the score 14 to 0 the ESPN halftime update with Clark Dishman is coming up next Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. The Bills close the half putting on a ball control clinic odds are they'll keep it up as we head into the second half Drew Bledsoe has gone to the air for a total of 102 yards and one touchdown. A clear choice for our ESPN Hot at the Half player. That will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman reminding you to tune in to ESPN's postgame show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send you back to Dan and Peter. kick off to begin the second half. It's off. Black catches it in the end zone. First down. This is an important drive, Dan. Although there's time left in the game to catch up, if they wait too long, it'll be very, very difficult. It's first and ten. Everybody's watching. It's time. He's gone. And he's straight back. Allen with the ball. Pretty run by the five-year man out of Oklahoma. Carries this one off his left guard and gets some decent yards on that first down play. Three yards to go. Ball on the 28th. Let's push him back! Push him back! Strong guy! Turn right! Allen will run it. Newman beats that play head on right at the line of scrimmage. It's third and about three. Just play it right now with double man. Double Allen gets it again. He passed the mark and they convert the third and short. First down. Beautiful run around the right side to pick up the first. He knew where he needed to be to move those markers. Ball at the 32-yard line. gets it off. Incomplete. Nate Clemens managed to make sure that he was positioned between the QB and the receiver on that baby. There was no way that was going to be a completion. Second and ten. Lewis in motion. Drops back. Throws. Caught near the sideline. He runs out of bounds after a nice pickup. Nice pass. And it'll make this third down a whole lot easier coming up. It's third and two. They have two receivers in. Allen with the carry. Spins. Oh. He's tackled and the ball is in the yards there. First down. 
James Allen is about to get turned into green spinach right here. Check this out. Oh, Dan, I guess oh, the I defense know. isn't hungry enough. Maybe they just don't like cream spinach. Oh, well, uh, Peter, I love everything's food to you, yeah, your analogies. But whatever it was, that little spin added some more yards to what was already a sizable run. First and ten. They line up with a split backfield. Allen with the ball off the left side. He's going to Second down. Second and less than a yard. Let's take the yard this place! Take the yard! Throw now! Throw now! Allen will get the ball again. Spin! <laughs> James Allen gets free on what looked like a done deal. Look at this. Wow! He puts his whole body into that move and narrowly escapes. Well, I, you know, I thought he was down for sure, Peter, but that extra effort helps him bust loose. Oh, you're so right, Dan. Everybody takes their lumps in this game. It's what, it's what you do afterwards that separates the men from the boys. Ball on the 36. Yeah. Yeah. Back, take left. Lewis take goes in motion. The Texans going to run yet again. Jukes! Three-yard pickup on the play. Second down. Seven yards to go. Ball at the 33-yard line. Let's not give me anything. Nothing, baby. Ah, I'm sorry. Throws. A gain of 18. Okay, then watch his body as he makes the throw here. He's going to be totally off balance. Off the wrong foot, and he still gets the completion. Peter, that all comes down to arm strength. He couldn't put any of his body behind that one. Truly amazing throw. The Texans have a first down. It's their fourth of this drive, and they keep pounding away. They have three receivers in. Allen, good takedown by the third-year man out of UTEP. Robinson had to leave the field earlier in the game, but now we know why. Let's go to Michelle Westfall on the sidelines. Michelle? In talking with him on the sideline, he said his shoulder is just a little sore. He's trying to work it out, and he's just waiting for the go-ahead from the doctor to go back in the game. But if you ask me, it may take a little longer than you think. Michelle, thanks for the report. Third and long coming up. Two nice plays in a row for the D. Good reads on the ball and stop them in the backfield each time. It's the end of the third quarter. The Bills are serving up a shutout, 14 to 0. It's third and about 13. You worried about this play? You got a long way to go, baby. Back, throws, caught at the markers. <laughs> David Carr links up perfectly with his man for the score. We'll take another look at six points. They were totally synced up on that play. A great route plus a great catch. Equals six points, and that's really great. Brown will line up for the point after. There's the kick. 
pick. The extra point. Good. The Texans cut into the lead, and the game can go anywhere from here. The score, 14 to 7. Brown lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. There's the kick. 31, fields it deep. 25, 35, 45, 40. And a 36-yard line. First down, Bill. Well, thanks to the return, they got a real short field to worry about. Great opportunity here. Ball on the 36. Good job, the team's a three to the house. Ledsaw, they barely gets it off. Taken down, and that's his third reception of the day. Nice completion here. Take a look. There's the throw. Right in between the numbers. He had them lined up just right, and they connected for a decent game. Ball at the 21-yard line. Bledsoe up the back. Throws. The pass falls incomplete. Drew Bledsoe thought he could finesse the pass through double coverage, but it didn't pan out. Second and ten. Second and ten. Second Henry with the carry inside the right side. Ten. Second and twelve yards on the play. First down. Travis Henry wobbles and wiggles and so he manages to get free right there. Take a look. Oh, oh. Close call, but he pulls through. Excellent run. First and goal. They line up with two tight ends. Henry with the ball. Nice shot by the four-year man out of Nebraska. Now the defense had the barricades up in the middle lanes, and there was no way traffic was getting through. Right. However. Hollis lines up for the point after. <laughs> it's 
gets up. The extra point is good. The Bills have extended their lead and make it a two-score game. They're up 21-7. will kick this one away. Good kick. Lewis has it. Stop at the 19-yard line. First down. They're down, but the game's not over yet. They can't waste any time, and above all, they really need to score. First and 10. Oh, you like that? Get back up against the wall. Ace, ace, right. All right, ace back. Barely gets it off. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the afternoon. We've reached the two-minute warning. David Carr had no trouble putting that one past the defender, Dan. Perfect throw. He couldn't help it. Oh, the ball was sent there. Special delivery. And the receiver didn't even have to sign for it. Ball on the 32. Just one man in the backfield. Carr drops back. Throws. Gaffney was looking for the ball, but it falls incomplete. Nate Clements shadowed his man well enough that that pass went for an incompletion. Ball at the 32-yard line. Fades back to the throws. It's caught sideline. Turns out at the 45 yard line. They toss this one right side and complete it for some really nice yards. Pass the marker and they'll get a new set of downs. It's first and ten. Carr rushed out, barely gets it off. Incomplete. David Carr rushed that one a little and overthrew his man. Hey, man, switch to caffeine-free soda, guy. The clock is down to a minute and 48 seconds. Right end is lined up left side. Carr drops back. In the pocket. It will be third and a long way to go. The Texans take their first time out. Bryce Fisher did a great job rushing the offense there. Never laid a glove on him. Until there. Yeah, until there when he lays a big glove on the quarterback. Third and 18. You guys do. We'll stop. Right. Aids back. It's tight. Close. That oh. will bring up fourth and short. The Texans will take a timeout. That's their second. They dump it off over the middle, and he did make some nice yards on the completion. He did not, however, get enough for the first and was stopped about a yard short. They're going for it on fourth and two. Let's say Tom just give us a ball. They go with the split backfield. Throws. Ten. The 35. Shot out at the 24 yard line. First down, Bill. Chris Watson steals this pass and then steals a bunch of yardage to boot, Dan. Watch this. There's the INT, and now it's off to the races. Fantastic running. Before the offense could react, he's already 10 yards down the field. Hey, he just keeps going. What a play. You got to love it. This drive will wrap it up for them. Well in control of this game, Dan. They just need to pound it out and take time off the clock.
The clock shows a minute and 29 seconds left. He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. The Texans take a timeout. That's their final one. It's now second and 12. He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. Third and 14. They have two tight ends in. He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. Fourth down. 16 yards to go. There's the whistle, and that's the end of the game. The Bills win the game 21-7. to That'll wrap it up for us. On behalf of everybody here at ESPN, including Peter O'Keefe, Michelle Westfall, and myself, Dan Stevens, thanks for spending time with us. Up next, the ESPN post-game wrap-up. This is Clark Tishman welcoming you to the ESPN post-game show. The Bills come away with a 14-point win over the Texans. They now move to 3-3 three and three on the year. The Bills clamp down defensively, to say the least. The stats show just how much they put the hurt on the running back and just how key that was in the win today. Trevorus Tillman made his presence known defensively and ended with a total of seven tackles. He's our ESPN player of the game. And that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to tune in to the weekly wrap-up for this week's scores, highlights, and analysis. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.